Rochester, my second home. I was telling my mom the other day, this is the city that I've lived in the most since the city I've actually grown up in. Um, the program you have in front of you, thank you. Um, the program you have in front of you is going to be different than the program that I'm singing. So I'm, uh, I made some changes because that's what artists do. They change their mind. And so I'll be announcing the program. And I'm starting with In Diesen Heiligen Hallen from Mozart's Die Zauberflöte.
food is actually the opera that I have been a part of the most. I, I was just counting up backstage, and I think I've done probably at least 32 performances. Wow. But never Zarastro, so I've never gotten to sing that before. And uh, when we, I was in the, the chorus at Oper Leipzig in Germany, and the, the men in the chorus made a drinking game out of uh, Salva Flirta, because we had to go on stage, off stage, on stage, off stage. So we would be on stage for the overture. As soon as we come off, we drink. Go back on stage. <laughs> so it was the most fun show that we had the entire season. Um, the next aria is also a German aria. Um, Habe ich ein Augenblick from Beethoven's Fidelio. With Zarastro, we saw power being used for good. In this case, Pizarro is using his power for evil, and he plans on killing Florestan, who is a political dissident, we'll say. Goethe's text 
for Faust, and he translated it himself and wrote his own libretto. And of course, we get, uh, when you're talking about Faust, the most fun, one of the most fun characters for a lower male voice is the devil, uh, which is the incarnation of power and corruption. So this is Echo il Mondo. just entered the room of his fiance, and to his surprise, he finds not one suitor, but two suitors. So he's very confused, and of course at this time, for any woman to be um, in the same room as a man that wasn't her fiance was immediate ruin. Um, Silva does have a, a change of heart in the end of the opera because he realizes, of course, as all bases and baritones usually realize over the course of the opera, the girl doesn't really love him. She loves the tenor. Um, so we get a very sad, sad version of this. <laughs> Che sposa se lo dovrà don Silva, dove se lo torri io scorro. Entra che ho la mia figli cavalieri. Si ognun testimon del disonore. Del 
Exoticized operas and placing them in different locales. This takes place uh, around Algeria, and uh, Michel is the drum major. He leads the, the army band. And there's a plot, because this is more of um, a comedy, a, a zingspiel type of uh, operetta. Um, there's a plot involving a sultan and a sultan's daughter. That's not really important. The important thing is Michel works perfectly for this plot because he is so dumb and he is so full of himself that he falls right into the hands of the people that are manipulating the situation. And so uh, you have a translation there. You will see just uh, exactly what type of power Michel has bestowed on himself with his position. Je comprends que la belle aime les mitaires. On ne peut pas planer ce noble essor. Les filles et les brelots du beau tourment. Oh, 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 
Oh! <laughs> 